Hey. Yeah. Anyway, just going back to the comedy thing, yeah. Uh-huh. So I really, really wanted to have a conversation with a comedian about uh-huh. this. Yeah. yeah. And you as well, Dan. Yeah. See, like now for me, 2017 has definitely highlighted the sensitive era. Yeah. Uh-huh. I feel that like we are in a sensitive era. We are in a groupthink era as well, where people think the same. Like, people don't think for themselves. And also, fake outrage as well. So, like, mm-hmm. people are just outraged mm-hmm. by everything. And <coughs> I think that word outraged, like, outraged is quite dramatic. Do mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying? Like, outrage is not just I'm upset. Mm-hmm. Outrage is I'm absolutely through the going through the roof. Yeah. I'm yeah. really pissed off with this whole thing, with whatever it is that they're pretending to be or acting like they're being outraged about, yeah? You see, like, where does this leave comedy? Because, you know what, yeah? I'm going to be honest with you. Some of the com- the, com- the comedians that I liked and some of the stand-ups that I liked from back in the day mm. were the most... Outrageous. What? Bro, we were just talking Little Eddie Britain. Murphy's That was mouth. on BBC. You think they could hear uh, that now? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, yeah well, this is it. <laughs> like, yeah, people would probably be really outraged about the, the, the only gay man in the village because then that, people will then say, well, like... The, yeah. the, the, what do you mean there's only one like there's, yeah, 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 there's yeah. more than that yeah. no there's more than that yeah. and now what you're doing is yeah. now you're trying to say that there could only really be one yeah. in yeah. the village and that's not right yeah. do you get what I'm saying yeah, 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 so, but again like even some of the, com- the, com- the comedians that I liked from back in the day their mouth was absolutely outrageous yeah. bruv mm. but even some of the people that you could say that they were offending was in the crowd too Yeah. but mm-hmm. now I don't feel like that can happen. I know you've never really been a, a a comedian that has like really like flirted with that element of stuff. Yeah, but like yeah. what is your what is your opinion on that though? I think sometimes with comedy, comedy is almost like I've seen it as like the last outlet for freedom of expression mm-hmm. a little bit. Um I know what you mean it is but then sometimes you, you go to a comedy club and you know it it's different I guess when it's on TV because then that's kind of sometimes a broadcaster's choice whether they want that material on there you know if it's like a comedy program and a certain community talking about that sometimes that's not even you know it'll be like it's thing live but the broadcast will be like no nah, we're gonna take this off mm. and that's down to some channels not taking enough risk as well you know what i mean um i think there was an article where ofcom said that bbc are not taking enough risks they take more risks basically well i'm sure their um, their thing would say because the bbc's taxpayers money yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah they yeah, just yeah. aren't willing to take any risks you see what I'm saying but it is getting a bit weird now yeah, it's, it's yeah. like what you, do you can't think? say anything and the thing is mm. you don't flirt with it but you do in the slightest like in this new PC world mm. there'll be people who'll be like oh why is that black guy you know putting on a cockney accent yeah 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 oh no I've, I've, I'm saying? Got, I've, I've, had, no, I've had people attack me about that oh. yeah you yeah, know yeah, what I'm saying yeah. that we just can't do anything yeah, now and no one I, but it's not just one way I'm not saying it I'm saying like even with the Anton Griezmann thing the other day yeah, people yeah, are getting onto him up. Like, for, for people, who don't, for people who don't know what you're talking about, just no, for, all right. So uh, Anton Griezmann, um, and he blacked up. He, yeah, he's he, a fo- he blacked he's a up for, for fancy dress. He's a football player. Yeah, he's a football player. He dressed up as hero from from the Harlem Globetrotters mm. as as his costume, and the world's outraged. And they're not really outraged. I found it a bit offensive, though. Did you? I did. Why? Because of the history of what blackface is. I know, but it, it wasn't but, blackface. It was him being hero. Yeah, I know, but it's just like he could do that costume without painting himself black. The the the, the fact that we like, if I know you're a Harlem Glowtron and you've got the outfit on, I'm yeah. like, oh, okay, cool. Like, Unless you're hero. Yeah, but at the same time, it's like I don't think anyone at that party would have been like, oh, who That's you met? Hero, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like we still would have got the whole because as I said, it's fancy dress. So isn't it? it, but then it almost becomes. Do you know what it is? I don't like the one rule for us as opposed to one rule for them. Do you see what I'm saying? I feel like we are sometimes, we're we're swinging our swords hard now as black people. Yeah. We're swinging our swords. Anything that can be even, like, if he was from flipping, I don't know, some like kind of remote area where they're very like, like it's, it's big, bigotry is a real thing there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he's a very, he, I'm, I'm going to guess because he's traveled so much, he's a well, tr- like, well-educated French footballer. His friends, his best friends are like Pogba and that. Mm. He embraces the black culture. Mm. I have no problem with you. Like, I don't feel like you're but taking that, a piss. That, should, a, that for me should be something more because if that was one of my friends yeah. who's like, oh, no, but Mo's my boy. Mo would say it. And I'm like, no, but you're my friend. You should know not yeah. to do it then. If you're, do you know what I mean? If that's, I think that's one of yeah. the things I think, especially because <clears> a lot of those black French players 
are mainly from Canola. Uh, yeah. You know, they're, yeah, they're yeah, from yeah, yeah. French Africa. Yeah, 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 like so. I think you when you look at even that, you know, what I mean, they're not okay. You can sometimes look at it's like, oh, no, but you know, they've grown up in France and yeah, yeah. but like they where their parents. You know what, is it the actor? Can I, can is I just say that, that this is this is, is this actor, is this was my opinion actor. on that? Yeah, I felt that what he did was a bit silly. Like, I definitely thought it was silly what he did, but. I, I wasn't outraged by it because I didn't think that it was coming from that place. So there's like a difference between exactly. yeah, yeah. there's that's a difference between the there being like but I think that's doing something the... silly and then but and me thinking that's just silly, but me being outraged. Mm. And that's where I feel that like the lines are being blurred a little bit because people do get really outraged by certain things. That I that for me personally, I don't think is that big of a deal. Well, now what historically, about when Dave Chappelle, one when, of my favourite comedians. I just, just want to say yeah, this year. Man. Historically, I definitely understand why some people would feel some type of way about it because of like, you know, that like how fit it used to be in like the 1920s and that and you used to have like white people like dress black like, painting themselves and the whole gollywog thing and all of that. I've 100% get that. But when I'm looking at this year, I'm looking at the picture and what I tend to do is I tend to like look at all of the things around it and then make my opinion from it. Whereas now in this era, what people will do is they'll look at the picture, they'll see the caption, and then it's completely outrage. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Without actually yeah. thinking about it, I think that what he did was silly. I, I, but... no, I don't think it's. I don't think. It, I don't even think it's silly. I think that if he had asked his PR team beforehand if he should do it, they would have said that's. It, it can be. It can come across a certain way. Yeah. But I like to kind of, for example, if it wasn't Griezmann and it was you know the head of the NF party, I would think that's oh, come yeah, from yeah. a nasty place. Yeah, yeah definitely. Do you see what I'm saying? So. But I think sometimes but because it's Griezmann, I feel like I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt because I genuinely don't think he meant to offend but that's me. So the why thing would is, I be offended? The difference with you though is that you you identify that he's a football player, yeah. whereas the average person who know. doesn't know that is just like, oh, yeah. this guy's a footballer, and he's a mass. You know, like this Griezmann's one of the like let's but, say the, on the top twenty yeah. best football players in the world. Yeah. So I think that sometimes for the person who doesn't know about this football yeah. player, they'd be like. What was but is, you know, is, it, is that his fault or is that just that they they before they form the most the the most the, the worst um opinion that they can that they should do some research into who this person is but then i think you i think you do have a, a level of you know as someone who's a professional footballer who has a massive outreach platform yeah, yeah. you know kids look up to you yeah. kids are going to see that you know and be like okay cool if he does it then it's it's yeah. it's deemed fine. i hear that but i, you know I just I mean? feel like we, for every one of these, yeah, that we attack, we'll be left with nothing. Well, can we can we, relate, school, can we relate it to comedy then? Well, let's because even just music. I saw Ludacris hanging midgets off his necklace. No one said a thing. You couldn't do that now. Exactly. But we can't do anything now. We can't... You know, there'll be comments in the YouTube talking about this where some one of us is getting slated. Do you know what? Even just talking about it right now, I think I've realised, for me, that, like, people can find... There's people... People's idea of what they find funny is mm. all different. Everyone has a different opinion on what they find funny. And I just think that maybe for me, which is a small percentage of people, now, because of my sense of humour and some of the things that I find funny, because they are not allowed to be joked about anymore, it just alienates me. <coughs> but you know what? I'm okay with that. It's cool. Yeah. I'll just watch mm. old stuff if I have to. But I just wanted to ask people like yourself, like, where does it leave you? Because... It's so sensitive right now, yeah, that mm. you could go on stage and do you go on stage? Does it affect you? Because you could go out and like, see like when you're improvising, you know that any small thing that you say could mm. become a big deal. Yeah, does yeah, it affect you in any type of way? It's now, weird. I think, really? I think sometimes with, with my type of comedy, I don't go out to offend. I go out to, to, I'm not, you know, you get some comedians that will be edgy and say something because it's edgy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but and, you, you and also thinking, do play on stereotypes though. I do play on stereotypes, but I'm I, I kind of see myself instead of I'm not a person on the outside looking in. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a person who's in the inside that I know what I'm talking about. So I okay. can back up my point. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. like if I am talking about geezers, like I'm like I've got friends that are like that though. Do yeah. you know what I mean? I I've, I've got friends I'll go and get a drink with that are like but that. Do you know what? Just you know what from saying? what you said like to him, yeah. No, but Somebody the thing who is, doesn't know but you. these are people that I've grown up with. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not doing it where even with the geezer, like I'd never overplay the character. Yeah. So I do the character as like, what's happening? You are Julie? Yeah, get a cattle cans in. Rather than be like, oh, what? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, because you I black know. Cat? Yeah, you might be black cat. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> because see, even if I, now I say that, yeah. I might. Yeah. But the thing is, for me personally, yeah, like I, 
Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, you, no, no. But I'm not gonna like. I'll conform to a tiny degree, but I'm not really. I'm prepared to mm. put myself in the line of fire for bants purely because. I feel like I was grown right and I know mm. in my mind what is right yeah. and what is wrong. I know where my heart is and I know that I some of the things that I'm I say is not coming from a place that somebody place. might yeah, interpret yeah. from. But it's like so because of that, yeah. mm-hmm. you if I say I'm gonna put up a video today where I'm talking about um some girls like I had I say like on Instagram, like I I used to follow five buff things and then what I used to do is if I found another buff thing, I'd replace it. And then instead of mm. instead of following 100,000 buff things, I just wanted to follow five. So I'll just take one out and put another one in. And you know what? I'm going to pull it up and people are going to be outraged. Yeah. There's going to be someone who's going to be absolutely outraged. But you know what? Yeah, I know my heart what yeah, it yeah, is yeah. that I'm doing. So if you yeah, take yeah. it that it's way, you're just going to take it's it that balance. way. It's about balance. You can't have too many buff things in one squad. But mate, I... Yeah. <laughs> Kind of two yeah. really buff things in one squad. This but yeah, sorry, I interrupted you. No, no, no. It's, yeah. it's, I think it's, as I said, I think with my style of humour, I'm quite observant. Mm. So I try and use that in my comedy, but I also try and tell my own story a little bit. And I always see myself as a person inside rather than looking out. Even when I've portrayed a lot of my characters, like the Roadman, for example, I don't make, I will say big words like, you're facetious and stuff. And sometimes I get people in the comment, real, boy, real men don't use words like facetious. And I'm mm. like, but who said he can't though? Yeah, you exactly. see what I'm saying? Mm. It's the same. And I and do know road, road men who do have vocabulary. Because that's like the that. thing. That's the thing, you know, sometimes it's like, like to be like, oh, so you're road man, you're straight fuck. And I'm like, nah, man, that's not what the character's portraying. You mm. see what I mean? And even when I do portray the characters, yeah, he might say that like a word like calamari wrong. But then at the end of the day, he's just in a position where he's just like, no, I got it wrong in it. Why is everyone laughing? Yeah, we, like, need to, we need to you see what I mean? yeah, give a bit more of a black of stereotypes because the know? whole world is built on them and everyone just wants to ignore that. No, 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 of course, of course. You know what I'm saying? The road man is a stereotype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The geezer is a stereotype. Yeah. The Indian boss man mm. is you a know, stereotype. But you know, but you know the, the thing Chinese, is, the yeah, Chinese man. what I'm saying. The thing is, it's like... Can I even say that now? As a road man, you can be a road man from anywhere. You don't have to be... Can I say Chinese? Am I allowed to say Chinese? Who knows? You, 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 honestly, you'd have to ask them because I didn't know until quite recently that the term coolie was an offensive term. Yeah, it term. was offensive. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So you just have to ask these, that. like... Do you know what it is, yeah? <laughs> Obviously, we haven't lived 99 years, so we are ignorant to certain things, isn't it? So mm-hmm. rather than bite man's head off, educate me. Mm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Just tell me where I'm wrong. Yeah. I'll check. And then I'll correct it. Yeah. For, yeah. For me... If I'm sitting down with my son or daughter or even my little brothers or whatnot, like I would try to teach them the things that are like right, what I what I see as right and wrong mm-hmm. or whatever. But also the difference between like a joke and when it's okay to say a joke and when it's not okay to say a joke. Do you get what I'm saying? Because mm. I do understand too that like there are some jokes that are just not for someone to say. Yeah. Do you get me? You need them for South Park. Yeah, you leave it to South Park or you leave it to a certain particular person. But also sometimes joke is a a joke is about where you say it as well and also where it's coming from and how much time you're saying it. Because if you say the same thing over and over again, especially about, especially when you're dealing with like a culture or race that doesn't, that you're not a part of, if you say it a lot of times, people are going to start to feel that you actually genuinely mean this thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's where it kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know, man. I It does worry me about comedy a bit because I just think, like, at least... If, it's, if, if people are going to be outraged by some of the things that someone might say in a tweet or in a conversation, cool. That's one thing in it, yeah. But I beg you, allow my comedians, bro. Yeah, it's true. I think sometimes me. it's weird. I think in my if position... If you say something that I don't like, then mm. I just have to just not like it. Yeah. I think in, in my experience in terms of doing comedy, saying stuff, and I've had people, you know, whether it be a live show and they've been offended by it, I always want to know what is it about it that offended you? Because I'm a person, I like the feedback. So I'm not going to say, oh, this is what I think, because it is yeah. a difference of opinion. But sometimes people, like, I was, I was, you know, I might have material on something and then someone's like, I don't really agree with the way, and I'm like, but, but okay, cool, like, can you let me know why kind of thing because mm. sometimes it comes from a personal place mm. and I'm like but that's mm. not fair if it's coming from your personal place mm. that I can't say that mm. you're not saying it in a way where you're like I, I, I feel offended 
and I feel attacked by it. Mm, this yeah. is more just a personal reason for you mm. rather than my material. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm, and that's yeah. the harder thing with sometimes comedy. Hence why sometimes, like, I, w- I will ask someone, I'm like, oh, what, what is it that you find offensive about this material? Oh, the thing is, it's like, you know, like, my mum, did it. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's, that's personal, though. That's your thing. Mm. That's why you find that thing kind of thing. Yeah. And I'm, I won't sit there and disagree with her, but I'm saying I can see why you get offended because it's more of a personal thing. Yeah. No, it's not. Because my friends feel the same. I'm like, you just spoke about your issue with your mum and yeah. why I've said what I've said offends you. You haven't said it because of such and such and such, of a, of a, mm. a grander scale, yeah. you know what I mean? And I think that's why I've, I've tried to educate myself in terms of when I've done comedy, you know, rather than like saying something because it's edgy and cool and people will laugh, it's more like I'm saying something because one is, you know, it humans me and hopefully it will humor my audience. Yeah. But I'm not there to push people's buttons because yeah. I feel that me as a comedian, I just want to make you laugh. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Some comedians are different. Some comedians, you know, they want to make you laugh and think. Ha ha ha. True. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Yeah, like, like, like Russell Brand's kind of you know like what I mean? actually. I went to his show in Hammersmith and his funny was kind of like that. His show yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. But he like, he had a lot of political jokes mm-hmm. that made you kind of think, right, yeah, that's funny, but that's kind of true. You so see, like, politics, yeah, yeah. people don't get really offended by those ones because I feel like a lot of people are uneducated when it comes to politics. So when you start like telling jokes that have some kind of political connotation behind it, it wakes them up a little bit. It and depends it, and if it you're becomes... being sexist though. Yeah, but if you kind being... of, yeah, try and keep that. Well, there's certain things you know you can't really talk about yeah, anymore, yeah. man. Like there's certain... But you know, sometimes with politics, politics can also yeah. open that debate as at a comedy show, which I've seen where mm-hmm. it opens that kind of... People want to say something now because they might not agree with your opinion on your political yeah. mm-hmm. statement. Do you know what I mean? So sometimes if you're a comedian where you might say something political of, you know, to your, your favour in a certain party or a politician, then you might get people in the audience that will say, well, no, I think that's bullshit, mate. <laughs> kind of thing. This is not a heckle. This is not a heckle. This is someone who's agreeing with your statement on stage. Mm. And sometimes they're allowed to say that. And that's, that's you as a comedian, how you handle this. You can either go and have this debate back and forth or you can just shut it down and carry on with the rest of your set. Yeah. Um, and sometimes even like, you know, I've got friends of mine, I've gone to shows and you say, oh yeah, that comedian's very political. I didn't, I, I was a bit, oh man, I don't know. Because sometimes people go to comedy shows to get away from that stuff. Yeah. You know, so it, it, as I said, every comedian is different in terms of, you know, with myself, I kind of see myself as I'm a lot more of a physical comedian anyway. Yeah. You know, I use I use things like music and stuff like that. You know, I walk around and stuff. I do talk to my audience, yeah. but I try to break the fourth wall a lot when I'm on stage. Mm. I try and do like, I would, if someone's at the front, I'm saying, don't worry, I'm not gonna take the piss out of you. I've been to comedy shows before where they take the piss. Just so you know, as an audience member, you're like, oh, right, shit, this, this guy yeah, gets yeah, it. Yeah, because sometimes when you sit like historically, you sit at the front, you're getting to get Finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, I love that. But the thing I, is, this, that's but that's me. So that's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. Like I, I feel like now when I'm trying to figure certain things out, I'm thinking maybe mm. it's just me that's being alienated, and I just have to accept that. Do you mm. get me? Because I like I do like dry humor, but I love inappropriate jokes. Mm-hmm. I mm. love I love yeah. awkward, rude, inappropriate, like just the wrong timing yeah. jokes. Yeah. Because for me, I, it's not supposed to be funny, mm-hmm. but it just kills me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, yeah. I think as well, yeah, like just listening to what you said, yeah, I think that like you, nobody has the right to say to somebody what they should and should should they should what they should or shouldn't be offended by because mm-hmm. that's their threshold. That's up to them, yeah. But I just think for me, like especially with comedy with comedians, this should be about how you how you attack things should determine how whether I like you or not. And it's okay to not like you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so for yeah, example, no, of course, of course. if you are a person who I feel is a bit too rude or, mm. you know, you your jokes are a lot about race that I don't agree with, mm. it's okay for me to not like you yeah, and just yeah, course, to not like course. what you, it is that you're doing. Mm-hmm. I just, you're just over there. I'll just gravitate to what it is that I do like. Mm-hmm. But I feel that like, when people as people, people are just not really doing that. The person who might offend we gravitate to the person who offends and is constantly attacking that person for offending instead of really just saying, you know what, fuck you, I don't even like you. you you're not for me anyway. Yeah, I like yeah, yeah. you. You're my, that you give me, mm-hmm. you make me laugh. That's yeah, more yeah, my yeah. type of comedy. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I, think I, don't, I don't want it to be a point of mm-hmm. like people feeling like they can't make jokes about race mm-hmm. or they can't make jokes about, you know, stereotypes or, you know, 
I don't know, sexuality and stuff like that. Because for me, for me, even though I know that there will, there will be times where they might say something about my race or my culture or even my sexuality that might that could offend me, I'm just not going to pay attention to you mm-hmm. because you're just not my type of comedian. I think, mm. do you know what? Also, I think it's about, like, everyone in here is pretty much the same age group. And I think we're, like, bang in between the the new kind of young people who are really politically, like, sensitive to everything that's said and the people who are older than us who are probably more mature and understand that some things can really offend people. So we're in that little middle ground where we don't really mind some outrageous shit being said. Mm. Whereas if you're too young, you'll be like, oh, like that's just a no-go because everything <coughs> becomes so PC. And if you're older, you'll realise that actually certain things that were funny before aren't so funny now because uh, mm. it's a serious life. I think was, I think what was really interesting as well, like, in terms of memes, you get some memes that are quite offensive, but because there's no name behind the meme, then yeah. it, it's okay to laugh at that. But if someone said that as a statement, then it can it's draw a problem. more in terms of people. Oh no, why do you say that? I disagree with that. Because I, I see, I see memes where I'm like, I could never say that on stage. Yeah. But in the meme, you get people laughing at it because it holds this. It's no Christian. one knows who's it's yeah. from, who's Christian. by. Yeah. Even the people posting it, they know that it's a meme page to to post memes and things yeah. like that. So, yeah, it was, it's. I don't know. I, I still think you know comedians are the last in terms of creators to kind of express how they feel and say what it is the last kind of outreach I of, don't even know if you are no. I think it's done no I think it's I, done you, for you you'd be surprised Seriously, man. I think it's done <laughs> for you it is because I think you it can't is. I don't nah. even think that you can it's, it's different for different comedians but like if you go to like Edinburgh Festival and you know the comedy clubs where you do get some guys that will like you know yeah, you do yeah, get these yeah. guys that push buttons maybe not so much on like television yeah. you know what I mean because the television is different as I said too. It comes down to things that broadcasters don't want to put stuff like that up and stuff like that. Yeah. But when you do go to a comedy club, you know, sometimes I've heard comedians say stuff and I'm like, oh, wow, wow. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that kind of night tonight, yeah? yeah? yeah. Okay. Um, you know, offensive stuff, homophobic stuff. And I'm not saying I agree with it, mm. but you, you some, talk sometimes talk. sometimes you, I'll be watching another comedian and I'm like, oh, right, man, man just said that. Yeah. Oh, shit, man. Mm. Cool, but, you know, that's that comedian. You know what I mean? I'm, yeah. not in a, I'm never in a position to say, don't, don't don't tell do that it. material because that's like that's just not me anyway. I would never do that. But um, yeah, man. Sometimes you do go. You know, you hear political stuff, and you know, as I said, I think it's it's still in that kind of threshold. Kind of in terms of it's most mostly the same in music and stuff. You you still are getting, you know, the old school commit like like there is there is that still kind of old school rap hip hop kind of scene. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Just because it's not in our forefront, it doesn't mean it's not happening. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what as well? Yeah. Um, for me, I can't even remember what I was gonna say now. Wait, 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 wait! It's gonna come to me. It's gonna come to. Me. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. For me as well, like even though we're having this conversation and I am defending to a degree that free speech, I also have to remember I have to keep that same energy when somebody says something that I could be offended by. Yeah, do you mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I can't have this opinion. Mm-hmm. And then somebody else, somebody then says something that offends me, and then I come with this fake outrage stuff. Mm. So these are the things that I, in my life, try to keep the balance of. Do you get me? And that's why sometimes when these things happen on the internet, where I, or there's these trending moments where people are being upset, I've instead of like, instead of looking at it and being upset immediately, I try to digest it quickly. Mm. To get what I'm saying and. And think about it a little bit just before I, I start getting upset. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Because then I think if the shoe was on the other foot, mm. would I still feel the same way? Yeah. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, but yeah, man. Well, anyway. Mo- also, pointing, just pointing from the Griezmann thing, I think had that been a premiership footballer, it would have been a bigger thing. Oh, yeah. As opposed to a player from La Liga. I think had it been a premiership footballer that, that would have done it's that. Here. That's because we're it's here. Yeah, I think it would have been a much bigger outcry as opposed to a Spanish footballer essentially yeah. but in my heart I would have been like in my heart I would have been like yeah what he did was I think is a bit silly but I wouldn't have been outraged mm. I wouldn't have been outraged but then again I can see why some people would just from the, the historical point of like how fear it was and like black people being a costume and all of these things mm. like black people are not a costume but then you know what I don't know like would I feel that same type of way if 
a black man dressed up as a white man. Well, Dave Chappelle used to do it all the time. Put on yeah. the news reporter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And <laughs> ah, I, yeah, I used to find sick. that funny. <laughs> he was sick. I used to find that funny. But on the gym, I don't know. Right? But yeah, anyway, bruv, thanks for coming. Do you know, actually, quickly, I do want to f- congratulate you clout, and everyone else here that has been a part of, like, really adding the comedic as the comedic aspect to our culture mm. like and fully you Respect know it, yeah, yeah because yeah, yeah. like you know like it's always kind of been there but you see like when you look at culture yeah like it's, you, it's not just music in it mm. like it's graffiti it's like, like it's the way yeah, that you dress yeah, there's no, all of these course, different man. aspects of it yeah but this year 2017 mm. the comedic aspect has really solidified mm. itself yeah, no, that, it's been, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's like one. I think especially from the artists, they're a bit more like, like if you are taking a piss out of them, they they they're a bit more cooler about it. Mm. Essentially, like when I've done like took the piss out of like Tiny Temper or gigs or whatnot, didn't like they they see it as as humor. Essentially, they don't see it as like yo, bro, why are you saying that in my song? Or do you know what I mean? Mm. Or I might say something like, what did I say? I said this one video. I said something like. um I can't remember I said uh, um so I said something, something like something about young Bane or something. I goes, Who's that young Ben? And then like the person's like, No, young Bane or something like that. But he found it funny, do you mm. know what I mean? And that's the thing I think what's cool about the culture is that they're kinda of get we're not we're not us comedians, we're not here to take the piss out of you, innit? We, a lot of us like your work. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I think that they're kinda of understanding that now a little bit more. Essentially rather than like, Oh no, bruh, man's gonna get me no don't get at me, man. Don't get at me, man. I'm like, bro, I'm not going to get you, man. Like, I like your stuff. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think they kind of get it, essentially. And it kind of, as I said, the way it's kind of merging, where you look at, when I was at Michael Dapper's show the other day, and, you know, I sat there, and I don't say sat there, I was on stage, and everyone's vibes in, me, Lethal, Jamie, everyone. And a part of me is sat there, and I thought, if I was young, like 18, and I was sitting in the crowd watching this, my mind would be blown right now. Mm. Because you're like, Right, everyone's just on on stage together and it's a vibe. Do you know what I mean? There's no ego there, you know, and we're all here due to Michael's song. Do you know what mm. I mean? And it's just a vibe and stuff. And even for me, it's weird because, like, that's what I always say to, like, you know, when I meet a lot of young people, I'm just here to inspire you lot because it's like, it gets to a stage, it's like, well, what are you doing it for? Do you know what I mean? Are you doing it for... If you're doing it for, for money and stuff, then, ah, yeah, cool. But if you're not doing it to inspire younger people around you that are going to be watching you influenced and then say, oh, right, I can, I can do my, my YouTube channel. Or I can do videos. And there's, there's no point of doing it. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs>